dedicated fans have been camping out all week for Sunday's 21 Pilots concert at the Heritage Bank Center. But now they and other fans are furious over new admissions policy that has the venue and that the venue announced just this week. They are going to be using a lottery system to determine who gets into the arena first, meaning all those fans have been camping out for nothing. Local 12's Luke Jones is live to explain all of this. All right, Luke. Wow. Yeah, so these fans will be getting numbered wristbands. They'll then draw to determine which number gets in first. So say they draw number 54, the line to get in might look something like this, 54, 55, and so on. And then they loop back around to number one. And that leaves all of the fans camping out here since Tuesday, uncertain about what their place in line will be. They took time off work. I was supposed to work yesterday, I had to call off. Some drove hours. I'm from South Bend. And they're spending their nights camped outside on this sidewalk, just to be among the first inside the Heritage Bank Center for Sunday's 21 pilot show. It's what we do, it's what we've always done. And this is to secure our spot on barricades, second row, close to the people that we love. But Tuesday night, Sophia Montané learned she may not get that coveted spot after all. Heritage Bank Center tweeted out that they'd be doing general admission by lottery. I thought it was a cruel joke. <laughs> but it was no joke. The Heritage Bank Center says they're specifically doing this to discourage camping. General admission ticket holders are asked to show up to the box office Friday at noon. They'll get a numbered wristband, and venue staff will then draw to determine which number gets in first. These fan-made wristbands won't be honored. It wasn't posted before you bought the ticket, so you kind of didn't know about it. And I feel like a lot of us would have went to another venue. We would have traveled a little bit further. Please, just honor our line. That's all we want. And as the clock ticks down to showtime, they're hopeful their plea doesn't fall on deaf ears. Let us just go through, and if they want to do the lottery so bad, they can do it for all the people that show up tomorrow. And concert goers, if you're not able to make that lottery drawing tomorrow, you'll still be able to line up before the show on Sunday. Just know you will be lining up before the folks who make it out tomorrow. We're live downtown tonight, Luke Jones, Local 12 News. So, Luke, are there fewer campers? Did this discourage anyone, or is it still all of them holding strong out I there? I mean, look, you can see behind me, there's yeah. more than a dozen people wow. here. I'd say maybe about 20, and they're going strong. They're going to be here all the way until Sunday. So I guess that answers your question. This did not discourage anyone from coming. Oh, all right. Thank you, Luke. And keep in mind, the show isn't until 8 o'clock Sunday night, and the gates don't open until 6.